Well, that wasn't very good, was it? No. I thought the Padres were going to go 6-0 on the homestand, <laughs> and they go 3-3. Three and three. How do you lose three games to Colorado and Arizona? <coughs> Excuse me. A uh, lot of issues here. A lot of, quote, topics on the table as it relates to the Padres. I thought it was a really ugly homestand. How bizarre was the final game of the homestand against Arizona? You look back. Arizona stole five bases on the Padres in that last home game. Padres, four walks from Darvish, two hit batsmen. Padres, two errors in the field. Juan Soto hitting 190 for the entire homestand. Uh, Machado gets ejected for misinterpreting the batter's box rules. Uh, pitching staff looks a little bit thinned out. Luis Garcia can't find home plate right now. Now, he had a bad start last year, and then obviously they rallied him. It's way too early to go looking for panic buttons, but geez, what a bizarre homestand. So that's that's item one. Uh, item two is the loss to Arizona. Uh, defensive issues with this team, yeah, they got some misplaying fly balls in the outfield. Obviously, what's happening behind home plate, the rule changes have kind of put the Padre catchers under the spotlight of if they got somebody that's going to be able to throw people out at second base. Mm -hmm. I mean, to see Arizona steal five bases in one game, including the theft of home, that's not Padre baseball. That's not first place Padre baseball. So they, they got some issues there defensively. Uh, the pitching updates, we talked a little bit about it. Uh, Joe Musgrove making his first start, rehab start in Sacramento. Uh, obviously, Darvish is going to have to build his pitch count. Now, Nick Martinez is up there in terms of his ability to throw innings through 100 pitches in his last start. They just need to continue to grow. Uh, the starting rotation going forward. Very pleased with Michael Waka, what the ex-Tampa Bay Boston Red Sox right-hander did in his first start. Really surprised at Seth Lugo going seven strong mm -hmm. in his first start because he was a reliever for the most part the last couple of years with the New York Mets. So no panic button yet, but the things that have to be paid attention mm -hmm. to because they're going to Atlanta, then they're going to New York to play the Mets. And then when they come home, they're going to get Atlanta again. And Atlanta's a pretty doggone good team. So we got that to talk about. Uh, Tatis, Fernando, uh, two for four, three walks, home run, a couple of stolen bases, first couple of games, Texas with El Paso. He also got booed, really got booed uh, up in Sacramento. Took a lot of heat, and that's in the minor leagues. So I would assume he's getting a taste of what it might be like for him when he gets to the major league level. He's been playing right field for El Paso. Has to be there for 15 games, but that's 15 chances to get reps rotations and do all the things he needs to do to get ready he'll be back here for game 20 of the Padres season and the Soto situation I what can I say this is a proven commodity who has never hit since the trade from Washington he didn't hit last year when he hit 232 here he's hit 190 now The you know the I can only buy the excuse, well, I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself. I have to get adjusted. Well, we're beyond that. We're into the second season here. You should be doing things more consistently. I'm not I'm not freaked out. I'm not alarmed. I'm not going to lose faith in the guy. But for somebody that thinks he's worth 40 to 50 million to hit 32, 32 last year here and now 190 to start this season, come on now. Says <laughs> something not right. Yeah, so the the, the, the the Soto situation is interesting because he was just killing it in spring training. In WBC and in the Cactus League. Yeah, I mean, so. But it's... that was, John, that was against substandard pitching. Okay, fair enough. All right, so I, I'm anxious to see him turn this around. And and that, that ejection of Machado was just so Bush League. It's like the umpires are just becoming these sort of hardcore guys. You think that they need to make a few adjustments to that, that pitch clock situation. Um, but the, the last comment I'll make and, and is, is, did you see the tweet from the pitcher that gave up the home run to Tatis? Yeah, call him a cheater. Yeah, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So, uh, I mean, there's going to be so many storylines with this team all season. In terms of Machado, I'm sorry. The words that are applicable, letter of the law. Yeah. It's right there. John, you got to file your income tax April 15. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you're in trouble. Okay. Letter of the law, be in the box, prepared to hit with eight seconds to go. Now, he's not the only one because the next day, Tim Anderson, the White Sox shortstop, got caught doing the same junk, got into an argument, and got thrown out of the game, too. <laughs> but, I mean, the rule is 
eight seconds. Mm -hmm. Be prepared to hit in eight seconds, and you can't do this time. Well, he did. Pay attention or trying to stretch it. Now, conversely, the pitchers are doing the same doggone thing. We had an incident the same day that Machado got thrown out. We had an exact same situation where a pitcher tried to fast pitch a batter in the box who was not ready. And the umpire said, no, no, that's a ball. You can't deliver the ball. 11 seconds are on the clock when he tried to fast pitch it if the batter's not ready. And the batter's got till eight seconds to be prepared to hit. So the umpires are doing letter of the law. John, make sure you pay your income tax on time. <laughs> you know, and I think Shohei Otani got busted both ways, didn't mm -hmm. he? As a hitter and as a pitcher. So I don't know. I mean, I, the umpires, yeah, they're probably being told to be hardcore yeah. is my guess. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's weird how the pitch clock is 15 seconds, but if there's runners on base, it's 20. You know, so there's some nuances here. It kind of makes you wonder, are they going to make some adjustments? Not right now. The, the, the rule is the rule. Follow the rule. April 15th, your income tax is due, John. That's right. On we go. Next.